The Pima Rough Riders look to cap an unbeaten conference season Tuesday night, but the Morenci Wildcats, still smarting a bit from that championship football game loss, were chomping at the bit to play spoiler. Enough with the chit chat, let's see some highlights. Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. Pima had an obvious hide over Morenci, and they looked to exploit that early and often. And no rough rider did so better than 6'6 starting center Seth Russell, who was an absolute beast in the paint registering an astounding 22 points and 22 rebounds on the night. Russell went for eight opening period points to pace Pima. Undaunted, the feisty bunch from Morenci fought back with good jump shooting and stingy defense that turned into fast break points, such as this one with Derek Sines with the steal and score. And after Noah Chavez got this steal, Dalen Johnson drilled the jumper to tie the game up at 11 apiece. But with Pierce Ashby showing off his range and Garrett Curtis starting to get involved, Pima pushed its lead back up to 1911 by the end of the period. Whether you need regular pest control or have bigger problems, including termites or bed bugs, rattlesnake exterminating is your one call to handle them all. Killer bees threatening your family? Then give rattlesnake exterminating a call at 485-8904. Points were at a premium in the second period, as defense reigned. Pima registered a total of six blocks for the game, with three in this quarter alone. So why not just show them all now? Teams went bucket for bucket in the second as Wyatt Wilpank drills the three early and is later answered by Joey Sabalos with the touch from the distance. Dalen Johnson got funky with his skills on this runner and was in turn answered by Grant Ashby on this nice drive and score at the rim. The teams even matched layups as Leland Thompson goes left nicely and then Derek Sines makes a good cut and is the recipient of a good pass for the easy bucket. Defense was the rule of the period, however, and Garrett Curtis gets the steal and finishes with a soft touch at the rim to help propel Pima to a double-digit 33-21 halftime lead. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. The third period started out with Miller time for the Riders as Coy Miller drives it straight down Main Street for the bucket. And look at what Tristan Sanchez had to deal with all game. And he still finished with a team high 16 points. He's catching the ball 17 feet away from the bucket and stepping back to shoot a long contested two point shot. Yes, it goes in for a nice shot, but Coach Thompson can't be too upset about that. Then it was Morenci's turn at defense as Derek gets the steal and then takes it back for the score. Then poor Christopher Lopez may have been a deer in headlights, but he stood his ground and took one for the team to get the charge. Then Sanchez drives into the lane for the score and don't look now, but the Wildcats, Wildcats, are only down six. But Garrett is cool as a cucumber and he is Mr. Jump Shot after all and he puts one in to stop the bleeding. Coach Thompson still wants to talk things over, however, and following a timeout, Pierce gets the score on the assist from Seth, just like the coach drew it up, I'm sure. But Dalen Johnson wasn't having it, and he nailed a tray. Then later, Johnson's driving, and he doesn't appear to have anywhere to go, but he chucks it up, and it's good for two. Pima kept to its bread and butter as Pierce Ashby got the bucket, and then Russell helped steady the ship with another score. Morenci kept striking back, however, and Sanchez dialed up a three with the ball just getting by Pierce's outstretched hand. Again, great defense, but just outstanding offense. If that's how they're going to beat you, then they're going to beat you. Then one of the smallest guys on the court, Austin Hudman, took it to the heart of the Pima defense and climbed the tower. The refs don't award Seth a la flop call, and the bucket makes it a four-point game at the end of the third, 43-39. 
Kaino's Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. Okay, one period left to play, and Marenzi starts with Noah Chavez hitting the big three-pointer, and Marenzi's come all the way back from down 14 to being just one point away. After a Russell free throw, Marenzi had the ball with a chance to take the lead. But Johnson loses the ball and Pierce is there for the Rough Riders, who outlets to his brother Grant, who finds Russell on the fast break layup. And now it's Pima's turn to mount a run. And they turn to the Ashby brothers as Pierce drives to the bucket for the score. And then Grant gets the steal and watch out below as he slams it home to the delight of the crowd. Marenzi continued to fight back with Johnson getting the bucket and then smooth as Silk Sanchez nailed the three right in front of Grant. But it was just too much size for Pima as Miller finds Russell for the bucket down low and then when Derek Sines tries to respond, Pierce sends the ball packing for his fourth block of the game. And then it was Miller time for the dagger as Coy avoids the steal attempt and then casually drains the shot. It was all academic after that, as Pierce put in the final two of his 16-point night, and then Grant hit Curtis for the fast-break layup, and the Pima Rough Riders finished off the Morency Wildcats 68-52. If you're seeking a positive change in your life, freeing you from past negative traumas, visit clinical hypnotherapist Rebecca Clough at Beyond Therapy in Safford. Beyond Therapy is proud to sponsor local youth athletics. I, don't know, I think it comes down to defense, you know, in the first couple quarters we're doing good at defense and then we kind of slacked up a little bit then in the third, let them give, and it was a two-point game, you know, and then our defense picked up, so offense, so offense just resembles a lot of defense, our defense is awesome, so it's our offense. Oh, it was good, the crowd was really helpful, we had a day with student section, which was always fun, it was great for At yeah. one point you guys were coming back, suddenly you had that big dunk, take me through that a little bit. <laughs> uh, just saw an open lane, took the ball, and just went up and dunked it. Moving forward, anybody you guys want at State? Anybody you guys worried about? Uh, we're not really worried about yeah. anyone. We're just ready to go out there and play some defense and exactly. win the game. Yep. Excited to play. They're a talented team. They, uh, they knocked down some shots, got back in the game. Uh, I feel like they helped them with a few turnovers, you know what I mean? But. Uh, I think we started to take better. They, they got some steals. It wasn't like they were unforced. I mean, they were forced turnovers for the most part. But, uh, you know, then, then we started uh, seeing the double team that was coming and then making the pass and then another pass for uh, easy bucket. They made it really hard for us to run any offense because of they, they were doing a lot of high pressure uh, defense. And, uh, you know, and I, I hope they continue doing that. It's, it's, uh, it's effective, and I think it could serve them well in the in the playoffs. So, I hope Marinci does well in the playoffs. I want all, all the public schools. I'm, I'm kind of pulling for them to do well, uh, you know, in the playoffs, uh, so we can show well in the state playoffs. I just want to, you know, thank the seniors. Uh, this is the biggest group of seniors I've ever had, and I I love them to death. Uh, there's eight of them. Yeah, uh, I've never had more than I think six before, and so. Uh, they've been great, and uh, they've been a lot of fun to coach, and I love them. Reporting from Pima for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.